Hello. This video is going to help us uh, see how we can use the concepts of projection, um, trigonometry, dot product, uh, to solve some physics questions. Okay, so we're going to do two problems. This first problem involves a girl pulling a boat along a dock using a rope, and she wants to pull the boat 10 meters. She's exerting a force of 200 newtons on the rope. Now, depending on the angle at which she holds the rope, uh, th that will determine the work that she's doing. So first, we're going to see what happens when she uses a 40-degree angle with the horizontal. So this angle is 40 degrees. This vector u is the girl's force on the rope, 200 newtons. You can see the projection of u on v in the direction of the boat is going to be less than 200 uh, newtons. Okay? So let's see how we would solve that. All right? In this case, if we draw this out, you can see that work is force times distance. She wants to have the boat travel for 10 meters. And to get the horizontal component of her force, that's a nice uh, application of trig, right? 200 multiplied by the cosine of 40 degrees. And when you do that, you will find that that is going to be right, 153.2 newtons. All right, just so you can see that real quick. Uh, what's that? 200 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Okay, no problem. So that means that the work she's exerting on the boat for 10 meters is 1,532 joules. All right? That's not that difficult, all right? If you, again, draw it out, get a good picture of what that looks like. The next part says, well, what happens as the angle increases? So if we think about that, as the angle increases between the rope and the boat, notice how the projection of U onto V gets smaller and smaller, which means less and less of her 200 newtons is being used to move the boat in this direction. All right? At 90 degrees, none of her 200 newton force is being used to move the boat in this direction. The boat may be moving, but not in this direction. If she goes this way, then she's pulling the boat in this direction. I hope that makes sense. Okay? Let's try another example. In this example, we have a girl on a slide with 60 degree angle. That's about a 60 degree angle. She's 50 pounds, and she's stuck in the middle. So we're wondering, what is the force causing her to not slide down. All right, so let's see how that works. So in this case, if we draw this, again, here is the girl's vector, right? Zero, negative 50, so we have that, that's u. The unit vector along the slide at 60 degrees, remember, unit vector is magnitude of one, as you can see here, magnitude of one. Cosine 60, sine 60. No problem. So our unit vector for the slide is 0 0.5, 0 0.866. I find the dot product. I find that my dot product is negative 43.3 pounds. What that means is the projection of U onto W is negative 43.3 pounds. Now, if that was the direction of her force, she'd be going this way, correct? But she's not. She's stuck here. So that means there must be an equal and opposite force making her stay where she is. Okay? I hope that makes sense. The projection of U onto V is this. And again, if she's stuck, so our, her force to make her stay in the middle of the slide is 43.3 pounds. All right? You may have to watch this one more time to fully grasp this, but I hope this makes sense. Thanks for watching.